Good morning. Well, I just thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, I've started working on cutting holes, smashing holes into the ceiling and the top floor. Um, it was going okay, but I kind of felt a bit of stress in my back or a bit of pain in my back, so I've stopped a little bit. Um, in the meantime, what I've been doing is doing, trying to do a lot of exercise, trying to get rid of my, uh, get a bit of a gut coming here, so I'm trying to get rid of that. So I've been walking like 15, 20K every couple days, trying to get calories burnt, eating really healthy and stuff like that. And all my walks, I've just kind of recorded a few things, um, which I'll show you in a second, but uh, also, uh, we got some good news. We've been suing since we moved in, or at least a few months after, um, for a new roof. So at our house here, we have no ability to see basically what the top of the roof looks like. Um, you'd have to go like in a crane or into someone's backyard to be able to see it. So there's a there's sort of a, a law in France where they're not allowed to hide things on you. Um, when we had people come up and they inspected it, or not inspected, but looked to see if we put solar panels up, they said, no way, it's too dangerous, it's almost ready to collapse. From the inside, it looks like it's been repaired, but it hasn't been. So our real estate agent, in writing, basically, because I confirmed before we bought the place that, is the roof good, is the structure good? And she says, yes, it is like new. And we have that in our writing. So because of that, we were able to sue. Uh, we originally thought it was, well, she said that the owners had told her it was like new, and then... She just passed it on, but whatever. The, there's no proof of the owner saying, but we have proof of her saying it. So she has insurance with her real estate company. So it'll cover it, but it's been taking two years, two and a half years to get that money. Uh, it's not gonna cover the whole cost of the roof, but it's a good chunk that just helps it not be such a huge hit for us because it wasn't in the budget. Um, it was looking like we're gonna be paying about 50,000 euros, which is like about 50,000 American just for a new roof, which is tremendous for us. Um, so yeah, so it looks good. Uh, so a couple days ago, we went to Narbonne, which I'll show you uh, in a second. There's a lovely cathedral there. Uh, it's well known for that. It's kind of right by the sea. There's, um, we had a little lunch there and celebration, but what we did is we, we signed the paper, our side of the paper for a, a settlement, basically. So we're gonna get some of that money, not enough, but it's okay, it's better than nothing. And uh, we're gonna basically just now wait for the, for, the, for the insurance company, her insurance company to sign it, and then send us a check. We don't know how long that's gonna be, how, you know, France just runs really slowly in some things, and this is one of them. That's some good news. We're really happy about that. It helps us kind of, you know, gonna get us moving. We're gonna replace that roof, we're gonna replace the roof in the sunroom and the uh, extension area. Uh, we're gonna leave the garage alone. It's a mess, but it's okay. It's low enough that I could fix it myself. But I, I, there's no way I could do the top floor um, on my own, it's, or the, the top main house. It's just huge. So, yeah, that'll be a process that's going to happen hopefully this, maybe even this winter, if not next spring. And that'll allow us to get moving really quickly on things. Because right now I can't, there's no point working on the top floor ceilings because they're just going to get cracked anyways. Um, and then also it's going to get us, allow us to get the solar panels in. We're going to be able to do like, you know, get like a storage battery and stuff like that and get our bills down because we're paying a lot every month now. And in the winter, especially for heating the place because it's so ridiculously huge. So one of the cool things on one of my walks I found was that in our village, they're basically changing what's called petanque. So what you do in France, is kind of like bocce ball. So they call them boules here. And you, you would take a ball and you would throw it little one and then you basically try to get it as close as the other ones and you knock it out and stuff like that so it's kind of like curling it's kind of like shuffleboard in a way uh and that's the big huge sport that they do in this area at least i think it's pretty big in most of france but a lot of seniors do it and a lot of people you go to the place and and you have this kind of open area where they have all the sand down and they have benches and people chat and you get to know each other and they have they have really cheap wine and really cheap drinks and stuff like that and they have little barbecues and things so it's a lovely way for them to do uh social things so what they're doing is they're replacing the ones that existed and they're putting huge solar panels and what they're going to do is, because it's so hot here in the summer anyways, and they normally run trees around it to give you shade, because you don't want to be standing out in the sun playing bulls. Uh, so what they do is put the bulls underneath the solar panels. And they have a second set that they're going to use for parking, which is really smart. Um, here we, in France, they're doing that with almost, well, any new parking lots, I think, are getting solar panels across them. So that you're getting cool cars, it makes the, the plaza or the shopping mall uh, extra money, which is exactly what they're doing with the bulls. So basically all the money that comes from the solar panels is going to go into uh, the club. 
over over how many years. And so companies come in and say, okay, we'll give you however many percentage of how much money we make out of it. And in the meantime, they get a new club, they get brand new um, uh, they get restrooms and like a kitchen and stuff like that, a little building eventually, I think. And they just keep all the money. And so they'll pay for, for, for renovation, stuff like that. So it helps keep the cost down for the, the members of the club and it gives them a nice new modern place to work in. Uh, another thing is that when walking around here, uh, this is harvest season. So I'll show you a little bit of pictures here. And basically this is what your wine comes from. This is all the extra seeds and the skin of the wine and little bits of leaves and stuff like that on the grapes. And that's how much they process just in this. This is the neighboring village or village up kind of over, uh, a couple over. And basically all that is just the, the extras that they get from when they take the grapes and they squeeze it all out. And that just tells you the scale of how much how much vineyards are around here. Um, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. But anyways, I just thought I would give you a quick update. Um, I'm going to be, I'm still working on the next video, which I'll hopefully get out later this week or on the weekend. But uh, I just thought I'd give you an update and show you a little bit around the village and what I've been up to, which is basically walking and trying to get back into shape and and uh, starting to work on the, the electricity and cutting all the loft hatches in there, which will be the next video. And then what I'm going to do is just leave you with some pictures of a cathedral they have, pretty famous, I think, in Narbonne, which is just on the edge of the coast of the Mediterranean, somewhat near us, about 45 minutes away. Uh, so enjoy and hope you uh, think it's pretty cool. Anyway, so wish me luck. Hopefully I don't hurt myself anymore. And I uh, really appreciate you following me. And uh, uh, if you can, give me a like. Cheers. Thank you. 